the Sam from Woodburn Tax and Retaining down here in Iowa. Uh, we're up here uh, this week in Nipigon, Ontario, hunting with uh, Bob Behrman, uh, Nipigon River Bear Hunts. Uh, we just want to shoot a short video here. We, we've got two really nice bears. We got one here. We're going to do a life-size mount on uh, this, this bear here. We're going to do a rug. We're going to show you some uh, the ways we cut these bears. Uh, up here with Bobby. He usually shoots anywhere from 40 to 50 bears a year. Uh, we bring up some guys from the, from the tannery. We actually uh, do get a chance to skin a lot of bears. And, and when we get home and we're seeing bears come into our shop from other clients and other outfitters, uh, there's some stuff that's really, really hacked up bad. So we just kind of want to go through and, and uh, show you some really great ways to uh, get these bears skinned up so you can get the best amount possible uh, when you get back to your tax unit. So, uh, we're going to do some short clips of why, where, and, and uh, what we like to do and what we like to see. And then uh, we'll, show, we'll show the boys the uh, skin of the bears and give you a really great idea on what they need to look like. So uh, just stay with us here and, and uh, we're going to school you up, hopefully, with the old barn way. Thank you. So we were talking about earlier, as you can see, they did a short incision, which is great for getting out the, uh, the gut area. We actually, we put bags of ice in them overnight because we, we typically don't get to them until the next day to get them skinned out. But I uh, just want to show you some important areas. Uh, we, we still have the penis and, and the genitals here. Uh, a lot of guys are split right down through the center. You know, that makes a lot of extra work. You can't not get it to look great again. So we like to come right around the side. We actually will bring And what we did here, we're just right to the side of the penis. So when you put that back together and you, and you do your clay work where your penis is and, and you get your testicles, you can just wrap that in and then it'll sew right back up instead of sewing down the center of that. And once we get around the back side of the testicles, we just bring it right back around the center of the bear and then come down just above the anus. And then up here on the top, where they stop, we'll go ahead on a life size and bring it up in here to the chest area. Like I talked earlier, we're going to want some points of origin to bring all this back together. And that's just about as far north, I call it, as we're going to go on, on a bear. So, I don't know if you can zoom in here. After, I'm not going to do it today, but we we don't split the pad. Now we'll split the pad on the rug because you know the pad goes away. But on these, we start at the top of the pad and we, you want to leave enough skin there to stitch with. We actually come around that pad back here to the center, but we won't do that until we get this bear home. So, because we're going to skin it down, we're actually going to leave the paw in it for transportation. So we just start above this knob Come down to the center right at the elbow. At this elbow point, I see a lot of guys come through this pit and down, and that's okay. I'm not saying that does not work well, but I like to be above the pit. Uh, we use an invisible thread with a real tight stitch so you don't see it anyway. And that way I, I'm not in here struggling to get the get that pit sewed up. So we'll be just right above that pit area. And you're gonna to want to come right to the where you just made that last. Because like I said, we want we want to make anchor points. And what we do on this anchor point, so you know exactly where that comes in, we'll go ahead and get our knife in there. We'll open that up another couple inches. So now you got four points of origin to bring that back together. So there's no way you can get that messed up. You bring four points in and you're good to go. There you go, I'm right at that elbow. Got that 
Come right over top of that pit area. Now I'm going to come right in across from this other cut. So I don't know if you can zoom in here and see that. When we go to stitch this up now, we actually have four points to bring that together. And that is highly important, guys. If you want your taxidermist to give you a nice product, now when, you, when he gets this out from the tannery and he's rolling around looking at it, he's got his points to put that together. So that's how you do the front. And, and this would work for a half-life, or, or even a shoulder mount, uh, but this is how you do the front part of your bear for any life size. This is, this is still that life size bear. Uh, again, we're, we're going to leave the pad area in just for, for transportation purposes. But on this pad, we would actually start in here, come around the inside, and right down to the, to the back corner. Now on a life size, you just bring it right down the back of the leg. You can see where I stopped on when we went around the genitals. Now I'm going to try to square that back in and bring it right. I like to leave the anus. What we have here, we have that point, but now you can tell when we when that goes get sewed back together, there's really not any anchor point there. So it does not hurt to come in here and make a small tick out to give those anchor points. Okay, so you can see here, we got the two points that will come back together when you sew back together. And then we got the two points just right south of the anus. So, I mean, that's a no-brainer to get that back together. So when we skin this out, we'll skin the tail, we'll cut the anus, we leave all that. Uh, we actually will come over, we'll, we'll leave the genitals on, on the, the, uh, the body itself. We'll actually skin all that out, so and you'll get to see that as we go. But those are the crucial cuts for a, for a life size. That'll make a really nice, easy life size and your tax terms will be able to, to put all the pinpoints back together.